Hey everybody, it's me, Comic Crack. A little bit of a glare. <coughs> uh, using my phone, so um, if you are there and you're commenting, I can't see Jack. Um, so this evening after work, uh, my daughter and I went out on a trip and I went to my favorite place in town when I'm looking to trade some movies. Um, uh, got a, a lot of movies. Um, and I, as I've talked about many times, I, I go through my collection of stuff every once in a while and get rid of stuff either by selling, but mostly trading things, um, and there's a store in town here at uh, Grant Park Shopping Mall that uh, is a, a fantastic resource of movies. Um, the That particular shopping mall has a our local bookstore, McNally Robinson. They sell movies there. They sell all sorts of like cult movies especially. So I think because this DVD CD place is located in that mall, they end up getting a lot of stock from people who visit the bookstore, so they usually have an amazing collection of movies on sale uh, at this particular location, and I've traded with these guys so many times now, they give me a pretty good deal when I bring stuff in. So I brought in a stack of movies and got uh, $55 worth of trade. Um, on top of that, they also have a they also have a deal where if you buy four movies, you get a fifth one for free. So today I was able to not only utilize $55 worth of trade, but uh, I ended up getting a free movie as well. Um, so the reason I have this out is one of the movies I got is a replacement. There was this, this kind of leads me on another thread in my life of digging deep into the internet, or maybe not super deep. Um, there was a company, there was a place... A guy, basically. I don't know if he had people helping him. I don't know the full story of him. I just was actually spent the last little bit doing a little search online for him to find out more information. Um, Shocking Videos was an incredible resource for me uh, as far as getting uh, kind of bootleg movies and stuff. Stuff that wasn't available anywhere else. A lot of, especially a lot of world cinema. Um, he had all sorts of crazy shit on offer on his website. Uh, a lot of great documentaries, stuff that now I see is starting to come, uh, make its way to actual Blu-ray and DVD. One documentary, for example, uh, The Killing of America that I have on uh, a bootleg. I, I saw just the other week on Blu-ray, uh, so it'll be great to update that. It was a fantastic website. He was a super great guy to deal with. He always had sales. A uh, buddy of mine and I used to go in together and get a stack because he always had offers of buy a bunch of movies, get a couple free kind of thing. So we would always kind of combine our order so we could get some free movies on top of what we were ordering. Um, exposed me to a lot of just crazy shit, uh, including the world of uh, women in prison films. He had a lot of that kind of stuff. And like I said, documentaries, horror movies, Italian movies, a lot of world cinema specifically. Um, and now he's been gone, I guess, what was the thread that I saw? I think it said 2008 or something. He's kind of been gone since. I, I, I want to say it was a bit later than that. But the website doesn't exist anymore. You can search for it, and the, the domain name is up for sale. The The point of this was uh, today I found, so this is a movie called The Baby that I've had for, God, I don't even know when, a, a, a lot of years. Um, one of the movies that I managed to score today is a Blu-ray copy of uh, The Baby from uh, Severin Films. Had no idea this existed. Uh, again, just a nice surprise of not only that I saw it, but, I mean, it's this place. <laughs> it's this place to go and trade. Um, they've got everything, I tells you. Uh, so a few for special features on this one. Tales from the Crib, an audio interview with the director, uh, another audio interview with one of the stars, David Mooney. Uh, it's been a lifetime since I've seen this one, I, so I couldn't really tell you much about it, to be honest. 1973, 84 minutes. 
just like everything, um, truly one of the most bizarre films to come out of Hollywood in the 1970s. Uh, famous tagline for a lot of these kind of movies. You've never seen anything like it in your life, that sort of thing. So uh, that's really, really great to have on Blu-ray, nonetheless. <coughs> um, <coughs> Another one that uh, I don't think I had a, I know I had a bootleg of this. I don't think it was from Shocking Video, though. Uh, something called The Telephone Book. This is the DVD and Blu-ray set. Um, again, one of the craziest films you've never seen in your life. This one has an audio commentary with the producer, theatrical trailer, stills gallery, radio spots. Uh... A major, though forgotten, work from New York's underground film scene of the late 60s and early 70s. Nelson Lyons' The Telephone Book tells the story of Alice, a sex-obsessed hippie who falls in love with the world's greatest obscene phone caller and embarks on a quest to find him. Uh, her journey introduces her to an avant-garde stag filmmaker, a manipulative psychiatrist, uh, a lesbian housewife, and more. Um, I remember this one, really enjoying this one quite a bit. Uh, 1971, so very excited to have that again. Uh, not much in the way of bonuses or anything, but it's it's just, it never ceases to amaze me, the stuff that finds its way to Blu-ray um, and DVD. I mean, you know, the market is there for sure. One that I haven't seen in a lifetime, The Howling, uh, Collector's Edition. I think this is, is this a double? No, just the one. <coughs> I loved, loved, loved this film. Along with uh, American Werewolf in London, this one had some of the, one of the best werewolf transformations I've seen. Uh, a load of extras on this. Audio commentary with director and actors. Uh, Unleashing the Beast, the making of the howling. Uh, deleted scenes and outtakes. Making of a monster. Um, a look at the film's locations. Photo gallery. Theatrical trailers. Really fantastic. Really looking forward to checking this one out. Especially with Halloween coming. Uh, convince my wife to watch this with me. We'll see how that goes over. Continuing with my Dario Argento kick. I seem to have found a couple of his movies lately. Um, again, perfect for Halloween coming up. A whole bunch of extras. Synapse is a great company. Uh, if anybody, I don't know, out there, how many people are into some of these kind of niche companies or not, but uh, Synapse has a really good reputation. They've put out a lot of amazing stuff. I know that Blue Underground has put out some Argento stuff. I think Arrow Video recently put out some Argento stuff. Maybe it was Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I can't remember which was his first film. Um, I'm not a huge... I don't know tons about Argento. I've seen a couple of his films. Uh, obviously Suspiria. I just remember when I saw it. The uh, the look of it and the, the the use of colors and stuff. Some of these Italian guys, like a Mario Bava to some degree with the use of colors on lights and things like that to really accentuate um, each scene. So looking forward to seeing that sucker. And finally, um, the, the, the kind of killer find for me. Uh, I really like Arrow Video. Arrow Video has put out a lot of fantastic stuff. I don't have very much of it. Uh, my female convict scorpion box set that I've talked about before, that was an Arrow video thing. Uh, this is Death Walks Twice, two films by Luciano Ercoli. Uh, so you get two Blu-rays. I think they're Blu-ray DVD combos. You get a fantastic book. Um, they had it priced at like $40. So there's my $50 worth of trade coming into play right there. An amazing book. It looks brand new. The thing is in fantastic condition. I'm guessing that this would be like at least a $50 or $60 box set, brand new. Um, I haven't seen either of these films. I've heard of them. 
in the world of the Italian giallo, uh, which are their thrillers or murder mysteries and stuff. Um, that whole genre fascinates me quite a bit. Uh, I haven't seen much within that particular genre. I've, I've got a, I've got a handful of stuff. Uh, I think this one is considered. So his first film was this Death Walks on High Heels, I believe. Is that what it said? Yeah, and I think this one, I think he did three giallos, and I think this one was considered kind of his best one, this Death Walks at Midnight. Um, again, the thing with some of these companies, the bonus features, I just actually finished watching. I love the Italian uh, movies for uh, many things, one of them being their soundtracks. Um, and I always think it's a disservice to not include more special features with the composers, uh, guys like obviously Ennio Morricone. It's not like there hasn't been any at all, but I'm always surprised. Like they always end up talking to producers and people like that. Who gives a shit about the producer to some degree? Um, I want to hear from the people involved in it, and especially the music. So this one has an interview with uh, Stelvo, Stelvio Cipriani, who did the soundtrack for this, and according to the little documentary, did the, the soundtrack and score for over 300 movies throughout his career. Um, kind of doing the Jess Franco trick of working on a number of different movies at the same time. Uh, really, really great to see special features with the composers. Um, sitting at his piano, playing some of the pieces from movies, and just kind of talking a little bit about his career. Really, really incredible. So, yeah, very excited about these ones. These will probably be uh, first on the list as far as what I end up checking out. Um, yeah, so Arrow Video. If you're not familiar with Arrow Video, highly recommended to give them a try, especially if you're looking for something a little more off the beaten path. Uh, fantastic company to go for. Really, really nice box set too. Like I said, it's... It's in almost brand new condition. Uh, so a hell of a score. Really great to clean off the shelves a little bit and get in some movies that I'm damn excited to check out. That's it. Thanks very much. We'll talk to you.